Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna to be putting a fake makeup palette to the test and here it is. It's actually gonna be the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and the fake has been purchased from eBay. So we're gonna see if it's anywhere near the quality of the real palette. I'm just ready to play with some makeup, see what we can do, see what we can create and see if it's worth it. If you wanna see that, just keep on watching because the video will be coming right up. And if you end up liking this video, don't forget to hit that like button, it helps me out a ton. And and if you would like to see more from me, then just hit that subscribe button. It's that easy. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, so like I mentioned, I purchased this palette from eBay. I purchased this for $12.28 Canadian, and it was free shipping. So obviously, guys, this is not the real palette. The real Huda Beauty palette is $65. This is the packaging box that it came in, and it's similar to the real one, but it looks like the real one has more of like a sand texture, whereas this one is just reflective and shiny. This is what my palette looks like, and it looks very similar to the real one. However, I think I'm missing a little bit of reflectiveness in the eye area here on the lids. The back looks the same as the real palette. It even puts the links for hudabeauty.com, and it also says share your makeup looks with the hashtag hudabeauty. I don't think Huda really wants to see makeup looks with the fake palette, at least they tried. So it did come with a plastic cover over the shadows. So these are the shades that I got in the palette here. So what I'll say is the shades do look similar to the original. The only shades that really look extremely different, I would say, are the ones that are supposed to be reflective, such as like retrograde, which in our case is just like a shimmer with one color. Shades like twilight here, like this is a blue color, and in the real one, it's like a duochrome blue purple, as well as Cosmo here. I believe it's a pressed glitter in the real shadow, and in this one, again, it's just a shimmer shade. But the mattes do look very similar in color to what they are supposed to be. I have played with this shadow, so that's why it's really kind of messy here. In the palette, everything has worked out pretty well for me as I've tested them out and swatched them. However, the only one that's really disappointing, I will just go into uh, Angelic here, which is supposed to be like a lid topper in the original. And I'm like really digging in here, guys. That's all I can get off of it. I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand. Like, you can't see it. Angelic, I believe, is invisible. So right now we're just gonna zoom in and create an eye look with these fake shadows, guys. So I'm just gonna go into Eden here, which is like an orangey matte brown, light brown, and we're gonna go all over the lid with that. Just going in with a big fluffy brush here and going in with Eden. And we're just gonna go all over the lid, pretty high up the brow, up to the brow as well. So we have our base down now. Let's go make it a little bit deeper. Go in with Musk here, which is a little bit darker brown shade into the crease and layer it over top of what we just put down. I'm just gonna go back into the deeper shade with that fluffy brush that we just used. And I just wiped a little bit of it off and going back in. Clearly, like the color payoff is great and it blends really well. I have to say the matte shades really impressed me in this thing. I really didn't think matte shades were gonna be its strength. Shimmers are usually easier to make and mattes are a little bit tougher. So as you can see, we've got the first crease colors blended in and they blended in so easily. So we're gonna deepen up the crease now and I'm gonna go in with some reds now. So this is the shade Saffron here and we're gonna build that into the outer corner of our crease. And as you can see, it's quite pigmented again. So I'm just gonna go back in with that blending brush that still has the browns that we were blending. It was so easy to blend those colors and it's just a really easy matte shades to work with. We're gonna keep building up this crease color into a little bit darker red. The color Oud right here, it's a deeper red color and we're gonna go in and build closer to the bottom of the crease here. So kind of cutting the crease a little bit but we're going like, this is gonna be the upper part of the cut and just going across here. And I'm still using that fluffy um, brush that we were using to put down the red shades since it's still red. We're just gonna add to it. Uh, just an FYI too about the palette. This particular palette that I purchased is no longer available for purchase, so you can't purchase this particular one, but obviously I've given you most of the details, so I mean, if you see something like this, you could buy it. I'm not saying go out and purchase fake palettes, but I'm just saying this one is what I bought, and as you can see, the matte shades in it are quite nice. All right guys, so this is the look we have so far. We've basically made our crease and now we need to cut it. So I'm gonna be cutting my crease today. Instead of a concealer, I'm gonna be using my NYX Wonder Pencil, which is basically like a concealer pencil because I use it under my brows a lot. I just figured it might be like something a little bit easier and I just kind of wanted to test it out, so. 
So I'm gonna go in with Cosmo, which is a shimmer, but it should be a packed glitter. I mean, the original it was a packed glitter, but it is not. I'll just show you. I'll just watch it on the back of my hand. I'm just going in with a little bit in my, on my middle finger. And then here's on the back of my hand. And it is nice and it's quite pigmented, but it definitely is a shimmer. I just wet a packing brush um, a little bit with some setting spray and I'm gonna go into that Cosmo color. And we're gonna pack it on the outer part of this cut crease that we've created here. I wet another packing brush and we just, uh, with our fixed spray, go in with Royal. It's a shimmer purple color, so I think that might match with the Desert Dust theme. And we're just gonna go right into Royal and see if we can pack this onto the lid. That one definitely wasn't as pigmented, but I'm gonna try to get a little bit more. Okay, there we go. We're getting a little bit more color there. And I'm kind of bringing it into that Cosmo color that we had going because I think I like this purple color a little bit better. I am getting followed under my eye, but that's not really a big issue for me. Definitely wetting the brush helped a ton. Color I mentioned before, that angelic shade, which is supposed to be like a duochrome topper, which in this case is just a light pink shimmer that doesn't have much color payoff that I swatched earlier. Anyway, I'm going to go in with that on the middle of the lid just to show you that it doesn't have much color payoff. I just wet a small detail brush basically and we're just gonna go in with a ton of this angelic on the center of the lid to see if we can build up some color. We've got our lid topper on there. It's definitely not that reflective, but it added a little bit of color to that center lid. The only thing I'm gonna do is deepen up the crease color a little bit because we've lost a little with that purple reflectiveness. So I'm gonna go back in with Ood. Going in with like a small detailed crease brush and just gonna try to build the color very precisely along our cut crease. And just with my fluffy blending brush, I'm just blending out slightly. I think we're gonna do some oranges underneath the lid. I'm gonna go in with this bright orange color blazing under the lid first. It is super bright and I haven't tested out this color, so let's see how this goes. Again, quite pigmented and it was very smooth to put on. And I didn't wet my brush at all, so it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go into Blood Moon and layer that on the inner half of the eye on top of blazing. That had a ton of pigment, so wasn't expecting that. I'm getting a lot of fallout on that one and it's quite sparkly a little bit of this Turkish Delight color, which I also haven't tested out, so we'll go on the outer half of the eye on top of the blazing color we added. And I'm just pulling that out a little bit, blend with the outside. This color had a little bit of like shimmer slash glitter too. I definitely found the Blood Moon to have the most glitter, shimmer, shine to it. I think I'm just gonna try to take a little bit of Angelic, that light duo, well, what's supposed to be a duochrome shade here, and I'm just gonna take it with my finger and just go under the brow bone to see if we can get a little bit of color pale. Getting a touch there, not a ton, guys. Doing a little bit on the inner corner as well. You can barely see it. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go apply my mascara, liner, and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back with the final makeup look applied. I have applied my TTD eye contacts. My eyes have not magically changed from brown to green or gray or whatever color this kind of is. So if you're interested in those contacts, I'll link the video that I did a review on these contacts down below in the description box so you can check that out. And as well, they've offered me a discount code. So I'll put that down near the website link as well. Yeah, so if you wanna get 10% off and save some money on some contact lenses, they have some really fun colored contact lenses for people with prescription or without. Anyway, um, so this is the final makeup look. I applied two layers of lashes because I was just trying to be super extra, kind of like Huda Beauty because I feel like that's the look we're doing today. The colors are beautiful. They blended so easily and the purple shimmer is gorgeous. That shade Angelic, even though I said it wasn't really like the best pigmented shimmer shadow, it has actually added quite a bit of a pop. The orange colors we used underneath the eye too are gorgeous and they turned out really nicely and blended so nicely into the bottom of our uh, lashes. I just really can't believe how well these shadows worked. I think everything turned out gorgeous honestly. Let me zoom out and get to my final thoughts. 
Hopefully this is the final look. You can get a better look maybe a little bit farther away. But overall, I love this palette. I don't think I expected to. I kind of expected to make a video, kind of make fun of it, and kind of throw this palette away. But that is not the case at all. I'm really excited to use more of these matte shades. I think they're great. I'm definitely going to be using a lot of the neutral shades and even these bright shades mixed in. Like I was quite surprised at how well the purple worked. I just know that purple is a hard shade to make in shadows and the purples in here are awesome. I definitely wouldn't say it's a complete dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. I would say if you really like those colors and they speak to you, then get that palette. They didn't quite get to me, so that's why I didn't ever purchase the palette. And then when I saw this, I was kind of like, this should be a fun video. Definitely blew me away. I was not expecting this. I was expecting to make a disc video. I was not expecting to make this like super glam look that I actually really like. So yeah. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me down below, just ask me in the comments or connect with me on social media. I'll put my handles up here, but there'll be links down below that you can just click and follow me. And if you want to see more from me, just hit that subscribe button and you can keep up with my videos. If you hit that bell notification, you get a post notification whenever I post, which is a win-win for both of us, I think. If you want to know any other makeup products that I use in the video, it'll be down in the description box. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are, and I hope to see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.